My daughter, the time is now coming for more prophecies to be fulfilled. The naysayers will squawk as always until it is right at their doorstep. My hand is stretched out still and for all their wickedness, adultery and abominations before me, recompense is due. They say, Aha, who sees us? I, the Lord Most High, sees you. You evildoers who oppress my people, who have stolen the food out of the mouth of babes, who have slain my innocent ones, who send young men and women to die, all in the name of war, wars that you have started here in America. You are altogether worthless and will be bundled up together as chaff and thrown into the lake of fire with your father of lies. You are nothing more than murderers. Criminals' children run this nation, all in the name of filthy lucre. Every unborn, every child, every adult you have slain, you will be held accountable for. You are hell-bent on killing and destroying. The time for the wicked too shall end. I will smite you with my fury. I am a god of judgment, but I am also a god of justice. Justice will prevail, and nothing has escaped my eye. I hear the cries of my children. Children of mine, take heed to what I declare to you this day. My judgments must fall in order for the sleeping masses to awaken. Along with the judgment comes my mercy. The night can only shine when darkness is rampant upon a disobedient sinful nation that has discarded my laws and my statutes. You who call yourselves Christians, why do you sit silently and not pray? You too will be held accountable for sitting in your comfort zone doing nothing. Where are the consistent prayer warriors? You say to little prayers in the morning and go on your merry way. Are you praying for those who have just been deployed? Are you praying for my severity to be lessened as my judgments fall? Are you praying for those who are out at sea? Are you praying for your brothers and sisters in other nations that are being persecuted, that they may endure till the end? Are you praying for the lost whom you never met? Or is it all just about prayers about you, your ones, your family only? Yes, I hear those too. But in this day and hour, there are many drastic changes coming to the landscape of America and you must rise up against the enemy of your soul. Prayers are well much if done with the right intent of the heart. The script is written, the scenery changes, the playing field has changed, the main players will change. You are heading into the leanest times you have ever known. Luxuries will soon, and I state, very soon be a thing of the past. Do you know how to survive during war, during famine? Your favorite takeout will no longer be in operation. Your toys and gadgets are about to be taken away. Your heads are buried in electronic gadgets, and they should be buried in my word, for I am the living word and the sustainer of all life. Pull your heads out of your ears. Your remaining time on earth is short, and for many, death awaits. You think nothing about where your eternal soul will end up. My children, my words are harsh, and my chastisement shall be even harsher until I break you of your stiff-necked attitudes. You are the most stiff-necked generation of all. Many of you will be called to leave this earth, and most are unsaved believing they are saved. 
and the rest believe there is no need to repent. For our church leaders told us, all good people go to heaven, even the abominable ones. You have been handed a cheap bill of goods with no sustenance. There are not many roads to my kingdom. Do you know how many good people are burning in hell today? One must, and I emphatically state, repent. I, Yahushua, is the only way, the truth, and the life. You must go through me to get to the Father's kingdom. Stop believing your lying false preachers, your Oprah, your Joel Austin, Kenneth Copeland, and the multitudes of all your sensationalist preachers. They only want you, Mammon. You made them all rich while you are still praying for the miracle, and all the while you are still poor. How did their motivational prosperity gospel fill your pockets? Stop tithing these false pastors, preachers, to the evangelists. You want to tithe? Talk to me. I will send you to the ones that need help. I am about to take down these false supposed wolves fleecing my flock. You are about to hear from me. Not only have you stolen my mammon, but you have kept my children from hearing the truth of my word. You have a law to answer for, and you will answer as I call you to judgment. Who of you is preaching sin and repentance? Where is the reverence of my name? I am not in your houses of entertainment. I do not play games. I do not mince words. I do not lie. I do not steal. I do not sell anyone a bill of goods to make them like me. I am the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and you are about to hear me roar. You either repent or perish. There will be none in filthy garments allowed in. Your door will be shut. My word says, Be you holy as I am holy. Your childish excuses are of our children. Come out of your man-made doctrines. Most of you are lukewarm at best. I have given all so much mercy. I have wooed you to return, blessed you to return. Yet you remain hanging on to your traditions and willing to give up anything. You have picked apart my word to justify your lifestyles. I change not. My word changed not. I am the same yesterday, today and forever. I am coming back with a scepter in my hand and a two-edged sword. Then you will know how fearsome I truly am. I am a warrior king, and all those in the enmity with me will fall. I am unconquerable, invincible, strong and mighty, and of my kingdom there shall be no end. My hand is stretched out still, and my way is the way. You will either return to me, or you will end up with a father of lies, certain for all eternity. Enough said. Do you understand? You stand on the precipice of war on all sides. You are going into captivity, poverty, famine. You are already a third world nation. Look around you. The homeless line the streets, and soon many more will be in the same predicament. You hunger and thirst for all the vile, degenerate things of this world, when you should be in hunger and thirst for my word, to know me. I love you, but you love me not. Will you die for me, or will you reject me to the end? My anger has risen to a boiling point, for you refuse to listen. Even in my anger, I am still for the salvation of souls, for this is who I am. I am love, and my heart's desire is that none perish. Stop wasting time on things that mean nothing in the end, and seek you the kingdom of God first and foremost. 
you must prepare your heart spiritually for what is ahead and confess your sins and invite me into your lives if you have not done so already. For those that think they know me, then you should know that this is a daily washing of your soul. For if there is any unrepentant sin, then you cannot enter into my kingdom. Your king is soon to be replaced by the eighth king. Your love, Obama, will take center stage, and you will marvel as he destroys from within. You will then know what I told you was truth, that he is the son of perdition. All is in place. Prophecy comes to pass. My word never goes void. My hand is stretched out still. My father and I are one. Return, and you too will become one with us. I have spoken. All comes to pass according to the prophetic timeline ordained in heaven. Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah.